Hello dear traders, you're watching the latest economic calendar on Insta TV with me, Anna Kasatkina. In the second half of the week, the following macroeconomic reports will be added to the economic calendar. Today, the US is due to release two reports of major importance, unemployment claims and durable goods orders. According to flash estimates, the number of durable goods orders edged up 0.1% in October on monthly terms. New orders for US manufactured durable goods, which had to be used for at least three years, were unchanged in August from July. The reading in August was much better than expected, as consensus suggested a 1.5% fall. Recently, the US manufactured Manufacturing sector has been showing mixed performance, so durable goods orders surged in July after a sharp fall in June. The last report signals that U.S. companies have gained confidence. In case this trend persists, the U.S. economy will boost amid robust manufacturing activity. Friday morning, the National Consumer Price Index for September is due in Japan. Experts assume the CPI to drop 0.5% from August. Japan's consumer prices have been falling for six months in a row, keeping the Bank of Japan under pressure to adopt extra measures in a bid to hit 2% inflation. Japan's consumer inflation fell 0.5% in August. The core CPI, which excludes volatile fresh food prices, also declined 0.5% on a yearly basis. Basis. Without energy, consumer prices rose 0.2% in the year to August, the slowest pace of growth since September 2013. To sum up, all efforts of Shinzo Abe's cabinet to prop up the ailing economy have been in vain so far. On Friday, the U.S. will present the GDP data for the third quarter. The U.S. economy is projected to expand 2.5% from the second quarter. The U.S. economy grew 1.4% in the April to June quarter from 0.8% growth in the first quarter. The final GDP reading for the second quarter was revised from 1.3%. Investments contracted 3.2% in the April to June quarter. On the other hand, household consumption jumped 4.2%, which has been the best score in the recent one and a half years. Importantly, household consumption accounts for 70% of the U.S. economy. Household spending is a crucial driver of the U.S. economy, offsetting weak corporate investments and soft foreign demand. Amid active employment and rising wages, consumer spending is likely to be the main catalyst of GDP growth in the third quarter. Tonight, the U.S. is to release the report on pending home sales for September. On Friday, Japan is due to post data on household spending. Australia is ready to present the report on producer prices. CPI is expected from Germany. Eventually, the U.S. will publish consumer sentiment indicator from the University of Michigan. And this concludes the calendar of the latest financial events on Insta TV. Thank you and see you next week. Bye.